Hey, how are you all? Hope you would have heard my introduction of this avataram. The first avataram we are going to listen today is Matsya avataram. Matsya means fish in Sanskrit. God Vishnu took the form of fish. So before that, I know you all have one question in your mind when you read the introduction, right? So this is the question. Why God created evil? So this question probably will come to you all. I told you in the introduction, whenever the common people lose their hope of living peacefully due to the torture of evil people, God comes down, destroys the evil and sets right everything. Now, why there is evil? Why not everything and everybody good? Why God creates evil and then when the trouble goes beyond limit, why should he come down to set everything right? In the first place, he would not have had created evil. You get this out, right? Okay. Now the answer is, the design of this earth created by God is like this. He has given humans the sixth sense. That is, only human have the ability to see things analyze it and come to a conclusion. All these qualities are not among other animals or plants or anything. The rest of the creatures, they all either have one sense, two sense, even up to fifth sense, but they don't have the sixth sense. They can see things, but by seeing things is not like human being. Human being, when they see the thing, Itself they will understand what it is and all that, right? So, now, why not God creates everything so nice? Every person is so good, amazingly peaceful and happy everywhere. Yes, he created such world also. That period, usually that period is Yugam. We say it as Yugam. That period, that Yugam is called as Krita Yuga. The first yuga of the universe. Even then we hardly find one or two evil people, naughty people. This Kriti yuga, almost all 100% people were good. But the next yuga, that is known as Treta yuga. Here, 75% people good and 25% bad. Next yuga was Dwapara yuga. Here, 50-50. 50% good and 50% bad. And the yuga where we are now living is known as Kali Yuga. Here, 75% bad and 25% good only. This is how the world and the yuga exist. But why? When creating this world, God created everything good and bad. Darkness and light, day and night. Sweet and bitter, all opposite qualities are all given. Why? Because you will realize the good only when the bad is present. Right? For example, you have a tube light in your home. You will never realize the importance of tube light until darkness comes. When darkness comes, you will run to switch on the tube light. Similarly, we don't realize the good people until some bad incident comes to us. Usually these bad incidents come through the bad people. So, God says, I have given you everything. And also I have given you Vedas and also the sixth sense to decide your life. Now it is your turn to utilize all my creations, select your way of life. This is what God's method of creation in this world. There are so many other factors like karma and so on. But let's have this simplest explanation at present and we'll go deep into this topic when you grow up. Now, let's go to the first avatara of Matsya. Why Matsya avatara even exist when 100% Dharma was there in that Krita, Krita Yuga? I told you in spite of all, everyone pure, a few naughty persons still exist that time also. You also heard the theory of Darwin 
theory of evolution. According to that theory, the cycle of human evolution began in water as fish. Uh, I can't even say human. It is a living evolution. It is a living thing, right? So, then came amphibious phase, etc. So, even in our avatars also, 10 avatars are so made like that only. The first avatar is fish which lives in water. In Matsya avatara, Lord Vishnu performed two things. Matsya avatara is the first among the all incarnations of Lord Vishnu. We get the information of this avatara and stories in the Bhagavata Purana. The first work of Vishnu in this avatara is to ensure the continuity of life on the earth following the great floods which is known as pralayam. Now you need to know the word what is pralayam. I told you there are four yugas. The first one is krita, then comes treta yuga, then comes dvapara yuga and now kali yuga. And at the end of every yuga, the world, not the world, the earth, the earth will submerge in the water. A great floods will come and pull down the earth under the water. Once the great flood subsided, earth comes up, the new yuga will start again by Brahma. You need not worry. No, 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 no. Now we are in the beginning of Kali Yuga and still there are lots of years for this Kali Yuga to complete. So relax. Now let us talk about this Yuga when Matsya Avatar came. Now the end of the Yuga has come. During those times, there was a highly virtuous and pious king called Vaivachuda Manu who ruled over the southern part of the Bharata Varsha. One day the king went to the river to do his morning prayers. Those days they never had any attached bathroom. People get up and go to the riverside or uh, seaside to do their morning duties. So the king also he went there and he did all his, finished his work. When he was about to return, he took some water in his palms and he found a tiny fish in it. When he was about to drop the fish in the water again, the fish requested him to give a shelter. The fish says, O oh king, take me to your home. It says this because for fear of being eaten away by bigger fish. The king took pity and carried it to the palace by dropping it in his vessel or sombu. They always have a sombu in their hand. Now the fish grew so rapidly. The vessel was not enough. So the king transferred it to the bigger container. Again not enough. Then to a well. Then to a pond. Then to a river. And finally to the ocean. Nothing was enough. Oh my god, what's happening? Now the king realized. This is some play by God. So he asked the fish Swami what is the purpose of this play? Then the fish now talked to the king. O oh king I am here to save the earth from the flood. Soon a great flood will come to swallow the earth. Before that you collect all the seeds of every species of this world. So you know that everything has got a seeds. Only from the seeds we get the new uh, fauna, everything, right? So, before that, you collect everything and a big boat will come to you. Along with the collected seeds, you also board the boat. I will also come there. The boat cannot withstand the flood. You tie the boat to my horn. You know why the fish was so big and it horn also very big and strong. So instructed, the fish disappeared. Now the king, as per the instruction of the fish, collected all the seeds and whatever the necessary things and he got ready. The great flood came and started to swallow the earth. The king and his collections were saved by the fish. Now we know the fish is nothing but the incarnation of Vishnu. Thus this avatara is known as Matsya avatara. He came to save the earth, especially the species. For the next 
continuity of the earth that's the reason now once the great floods subsided the it's the time for brahma to create all the species in this world all fauna flora human everything to do this brahma used to have all four vedas as a keynotes and at the end of each yuga you know the flood comes and slowly immerses the earth so brahma does not have any work at that time it is a sleeping time for him so he was sleeping what happened suddenly while brahma was sleeping a asura called somuka stole all the vedas from brahma and went inside the sea who are asuras asuras are described as powerful superhuman demigods with good or bad qualities see not necessary that all the asuras have got very bad qualities hiranyakashipa was a asura but his son was prahlada we know who is prahlada one day i will tell you that story also to you so it is not the dynasty it is only the quality even those asuras were born as a very good people to a very good persons and then they also do penance and getting a lot of boons from shiva brahma indra and so on and when they started using those boons slowly 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 their ego their arrogance their bad qualities all comes into their mind and they become so cruel and they started to disturb everybody and finally god had to come down to destroy them or their bad qualities so here somasura took all four vedas rig yajur sama and atharvana all these four vedas and he kept them deep inside the ocean now brahma he was praying to lord vishnu again the same fish because that fish was such a big fish right so it went inside the ocean fought with the asura and recovered all the vedas and returned to brahma then he took a form of a beautiful swan and taught brahma all the importance of veda and then he did thus in matsya avatar god helped to continue the life of the earth in two ways through manu to collect all the seeds and by getting the vedas back so this is the first avatara this avatara is so simple because this period of krita yuga was a quiet peaceful yuga so let's see what is next waiting for us in the next avatara until then have a good day bye